Hey guys, we're back. This time we're taking a look at the Age of Giants expansion for King Domino. And this one's kind of cool because it adds some new mechanics to the game as well as adding enough pieces for a fifth player. Got the instructions on the back here in different languages. But uh, we're going to get right in and take a look. So in the top here, they got some foam in here to support it, which is nice. But you got your instruction book in three different languages. So we're only going to look at the English one for now. And uh, you can see there we got a contents list, a introduction. The setup, which has not changed much at all. And the different, uh, how you're doing the two, three, and four players, or five players now. And then uh, the new rules for the new, so that's literally all the new rules for the new section. And then on the back, we have these new uh, challenge uh, title things that are kind of cool. We have some scoring pads, which were oddly missing from the original game. But uh, they do make things a little easier. Then we have the tower here, which is really neat. And that's what all the foam's for. And the tower here is magnetic. Like an, really kind of tight magnet, too. And you pop this open. All the rest of our components are inside. So we have our new player tokens. And he came with a sticker on the Royal Pack set. And then your new starting tile. We have a new castle for our new color character. And we have the giant meeples, which are these wooden meeples. Kind of cool. And they're going to be used with the new mechanic in the game, which we'll get to here in a second. And then you have this little insert you can toss aside. And then the neat thing about this is when you stand it up with all the tiles in it, it actually becomes if you do it properly, a tile dispenser, and you can slide them out the bottom. They're kind of tight at first, but you can pull the tiles right out of the dispenser, and that's kind of neat. And there's room in here for all the tiles in your game. There are new tiles in here, so we'll put these aside, because they are different. And then we have uh, more tiles. And there are some lettered tiles in here. Now, the number of tiles you can add to your base game just to make it four player or five player, sorry. And no big deal. The letter tiles are specific to the Giants expansion. They get mixed in. These go uh, just like you would with your normal tiles. I believe you go number, then letter. So keep that in mind when you're laying them out. The new tiles have the Giants on them. If you draft a tile with a giant and add this to your uh, kingdom, you have to take a giant and it goes on one of the tiles in your kingdom that has a crown. It can be a single crown, double crown, whatever. It has to go on there. If you ever draw a tile with these footprints on it, then you get to take a giant who's in your kingdom, place it in somebody else's kingdom on one of theirs with their tile, uh, uh, crown on it. So you can find a uh, one that's really scoring well, put them on there. If they're on this tile, those crowns basically don't exist. And they need to get rid of it by the end of the game. If they're on there at the end of the game, those crowns don't exist. It still counts, like this case would still count as a swamp tile, but does not count as a crown towards your total. So keep that in mind. Adds a little bit of take that to the game. I kind of I kind of like it. And uh, it adds a new twist with a little bit more strategy to the game. I don't think, once I've played with it, I don't think I really want to play without it unless I'm teaching a new player because it does add that much more. And the last thing we have in this are these challenge tokens. And it's a pretty hefty stack of them. And I'm not sure how these get distributed. We have not actually played with them yet. Uh, but they have goals on here. So basically, if you can get water in every tile surrounding your castle, you get an extra five points. This one, if you can get a grasslands in the four corners of the map, 
you're going to get a, or a field, I guess that is, you're going to get an extra five points. There's one for forest for the same. Uh, there's ones, if you can get three in a row, three diagonal, three in a row. I'm not sure the exact wording on these ones. Maybe you have to get all three. Maybe it's just any of. Um, if you don't throw any tiles away, if, uh, let's see, there's one where you, if your castle is in the corner. So there's a lot of neat little things in there. I'm sure I didn't get them uh, if your castle's in the center. They're just cool challenges to add to the game. They give you something to try instead of just the same basic trying to go for optimal placement. Sometimes you, you may go a little suboptimal to get those scores. And you get the bonus points for it to compensate. So that's a look at everything that comes in the Age of Giants expansion. It's definitely worth getting if you are a fan of the game. I think the little take that aspect that it adds to the game definitely makes it worth it in my mind. In the least, the extra fifth player does and having the extra tiles for that. The challenges are interesting and have yet to play with them, so I can't really comment on them yet. But I do think they're going to add an interesting twist to the game. And then we have the tower, which I definitely like as not only a storage box for everything, but the fact that it's functional and you can have it up and draw your tiles from it during the game. Really neat aspect that they took the time and effort to put into that, and I think that's pretty cool. Overall, though, it is a great little expansion to a great little game, and uh, I'm glad I picked it up, and I can't wait to get it to the table more and introduce it to more people. I've already showed it to a few friends, and they actually absolutely love it. One of them's not really even a gamer, and uh, it's something so easy he can pick up. That's King Domino in general. The little extras that this adds to the game, I think, just make, make it just that much better. And it's not overcomplicated when it adds. Literally, it's the, the mechanic of the giants giving you giants and the footprints moving the giants that you add to this. So, a great expansion, a um, much-needed fifth player, and uh, overall, just a great little pack to pick up. Definitely, if you're a fan of King Domino, you're going to want this if you don't already have it. So, that's going to wrap it up for a look at King Domino Age of Giants. If it looks like something you'd be interested in, definitely check it out. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.